Okay, I'm here at Zabriskie Point, which is uh, one of the more famous landmarks here in Death Valley National Park. Uh, it's sunrise, and it's a really fantastic view from here at Zabriskie Point, looking to the west of some of these incredible kind of badland type topography features here. This area of kind of lumpy ground with absolutely no vegetation. Uh, in the distance, out across the valley, we can see the, the Panamint Mountains, which rise to over 11,000 feet with a telescope peak there in the distance. So we're looking at topography of uh, more than two miles vertical. Uh, and this, of course, all related to the extension, the east-west extension that has pulled on the Death Valley area, pushed the mountains up, dropped the valleys down to create this extraordinary landscape in front of us. Here at Zabriskie Point, uh, we have these, these, uh, these badlands here. And badlands are typical when we have rock units that are rich in clay. So these rock units have quite a bit of clay in them. There's also some conglomerates and some, some ash beds that have sort of altered into clay. But the clay is important because uh, it inhibits any plant growth here. So even though Death Valley is very dry, it's the driest place in North America, uh, the fact that there's no plants here is primarily attributed to the clay-rich soils of these units here. And these rocks here, uh, these sediments that we see here that are actually tilted on end, are about three to five million years old. This is the Furnace Creek formation, and it consists of uh, uh, deposits of clay and sand and gravel uh, that record a time three to five million years ago when Death Valley was very different. At that time, it was actually quite lush, uh, a lot more uh, water. At that time, there were lakes there, so some of these are actually lake beds, and you can see the sort of fine-grained, clay-rich material that would have accumulated at the bottom of the lake. There were streams and rivers flowing into those lakes. So these units record a very different climate and uh, landscape in Death Valley, again, three to five million years ago. Of course, uh, now things have changed quite a bit. The, the lakes are gone and it's a much drier area. And these rocks, once they had formed and were deposited, were then actually uh, tilted and uplifted to form the sort of tilted beds you see uh, behind me here. So pretty fantastic landscape. If I kind of pan around over in this way, this direction, you can see uh, some of the tourists over there at the viewpoint. Uh, that black unit running behind the tourists there is actually an intrusion of basalt, so an intrusion of magma uh, that formed in with the layers after the layers had formed. And if we swing around here to the north, we can see some of these big alluvial aprons coming off the uh, Grapevine Mountains. And then where the road runs there, this is Furnace Creek Wash. This is actually uh, drains a pretty big area and this wash floods every so often and they have to fix the road and and do routine maintenance on the road. So again, another great landscapes, another iconic location here in Death Valley.